The air assault went well. That was our first one that we've done as a company, and we incorporated the A&A with that. So they've actually probably done more air assaults than some of the people here. So they did really good. Our mission started at 1 a.m. and continued until 1.30 p.m. We conducted a, a foot patrol to the area where the enemy wanted to operate. And then we found out that the enemy were not there. And we turned back to the base safely. We were here? We were here. And we walked this road. So now we're here. Yeah. So now we're going to take we, this road yeah. back down to there. Yeah. It was pretty standard. I mean, that's what we usually do on every patrol. Is uh, We talk with the villagers, kind of get an assessment of how they're doing, how they like American presence. Then we uh, get biometrics, we hide them, and we get swabs, their DNA swabs. Human Affairs guys were out there and they said they, like from what I gathered, them talking to the locals, they seemed to like us and they said it was safer with us there, so that's good. Are there a lot of problems here in this village? Why did they ask questions here? Because of the questions that they ask, I think it puts them at ease. They're not asking, they don't go there and ask about the Taliban. The the have they seen any bombs or anything like that? They go there and ask them personal questions. How can we help you? What do you need? How is your farm? Stuff like that. I mean, making a presence alone denies the enemy freedom of maneuver in our area. So just being there and just having the people see us walk through their town, you know, it's actually making a difference. It's good.